Hey guys, what's up, Synergy here, and we're bringing you brand new footage. This one's going to be the Destiny Beta gameplay for you guys. So what I've done is I've picked out just the action areas while I've been learning this game as well. Um, now, bearing in mind, I've never actually played Destiny before, but I have to say that I am quite impressed with the gameplay style of it and feel to it. It's a little bit different to what I'm used to with the Titanfall and stuff like that, but we're going to be playing both of these games for you guys. So don't forget to stay tuned, subscribe, and... And comment let me know what you think right so basically we are getting into this one now now what I've done is I've edited the clips down so you see less of the running about in open spaces trying to find out where we're going on the minimap with the arrow and um, I can give you a few little tips but I am not by all means the most clued up person on Destiny and I'll happily admit that as well. So I end up joining a fire team, now fire teams are basically like your friends and yourself so it's just like a party really so like you see here and um, we take down Sephix Prime after I get slapped down, I know I'm only level 2 but it took me a long long time to actually download the game well guys. Done. Right, so you Shepherd's can see Juicy Bang stick on my screen at the minute. Um, the class that I've chosen to take up is the actual Warlock class because there is a lot of Titans out there and there is a lot of the other one, I forgot what it was called. Titan, Warlock and something else. Hunter, that was it. I <laughs> can't believe I actually forgot to think about that. Okay, so we're moving into number two, and this is two-player mode. Um, what we're doing is we're actually playing against Rikitis. Now, the main thing on this one is just not take damage. You can see your health bar at the top there, so as far as I'm concerned, you can actually regen health after a while, so it's not just run straight in there and die. It's just being a bit smart about your gameplay, as you see here. I'm just picking up random health from it. Now I know he's coming towards me, I'm going to use this and then he's actually used the smash which has took my health down a little bit so I'm just going to come around here, take out the minions, that's one of the most important things for you guys if you don't take out the minions they're going to do random damage to you as well you can see my health's practically gone here, one hit and I'm down so I need to get inside which is exactly what I'm going to do right this time I'm coming around the back side of him hello I see you Shoot, 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 shoot. Come on, will this guy die? And he actually gets stuck here because I, I've never played Destiny before so I didn't know exactly where I was going and stuff like that. I tried to dry hump him then and then it actually ended up doing a bit of damage to me as well. Right, so we've actually got the level up here guys and we are moving on to the next clip very shortly. Right, so next clip uh, is right here, and as you can see what you can get, you can get these things called Vandals, which are pretty easy to kill, and then you get one that's usually a bit harder to kill, because what he's got is he's got defensive armor, which you can see the white bar there, and then you take him down like so. <clears throat> Now the good thing about this is, if you're new and starting to Destiny, I am exactly what you are guys, so I'm brand new to Destiny, never played it before, and I have to say I'm very impressed with the game, the graphics are amazing, uh, the feel, uh, you do need to change your look sensitivity, otherwise you will not be able to aim very well, I can guarantee you that. Dead end. Fallen seal this gate. Right, so can you can open. see the respawning restricted, which basically means that we're going to be engaged in fighting mode very shortly. And this is how you find all your challenges by pressing that button, and then basically it brings up like a little map thing, but it tells you your objective. So for example, search the complex. Now you can see the Warlock, he has this little nifty move which is basically like a plasma grenade. Lots of motion ahead. Now, the way I'm actually sliding, in case people do not know or haven't figured it out, is I'm actually just running forward and pressing B. So, mean to stirry at the moment, all we're going to do is we're just going to take out these random minions and stuff like that and progress right to where the arrow's telling us to go. Just backing off a little bit because I don't want them to damage me down too much, and there you go, we'll clear out the pack. <clears throat> right, moving on, you can see just in my inventory there for a second, I don't know what I was doing. 
I was trying to figure out how to do the upgrades and stuff like that and um, you can see here in the settings I'm actually changing my look sensitivity from 3 I'm gonna put it right at 9 see if that's any better there you go a oh, little bit better okay right so we are moving on and we're gonna end up straight back into the action again you can see a lot of these things are coming straight at me and two stir is just on his way now not sure what these little boxes are I think they actually replenish your ammo as you go over them and stuff like that I could be completely wrong on that one by the way guys so don't take that for granted and the gun that you do start out with like this particular gun for example it's not the easiest to sort of aim and uh, I've been into the PvP mode and I, needless to say I absolutely got annihilated because these players that are in the PvP they've obviously played this game beforehand so they know a lot more about what they're doing than I would do the here. Right, so we basically got a wizard called Gotter's Spawn or something. As you can see, the wizard there would just take his shields down and add some random damage. He's firing up a bolt to throw at us, so we're just going to back off. You can see his hands are electrified there, and you can see those bolts just aim directly at us. I throw a bolt down into the pack, try and clear them out a little bit. Been hit market. And what me and Two Stir is gonna do here is we're just gonna advance on him. As soon as we get rid of these little packs. You can see this green smoke now, you don't wanna stand in that obviously, that does do random damage over time on you. Um, I learned that as soon as I went in it. There we go, I'm just trying to make sure he gets killed and two sturdy will finish up the kill there. And we've got another mission complete guys, ready for round two? Here we go. Okay guys, so we're moving into round two and this is Destiny again and yet again what I'm doing is I'm uploading all the action areas for you. Yeah, so basically we're go just going to talk you through exactly what we're doing as well. Uh, this will help you if you're new to the game exactly like me to know exactly what you're doing and stuff like that. Obviously I'm not clued up on too much, basically you got like points trees, kind of like you get World of Warcraft points trees. Uh, you can spend them in certain abilities and make your ability stronger or for example you can actually spend them on armor which will increase your defense. And basically this part of the mission is you've got to kill all these random packs but what they're going to drop is they're going to drop little shiny object things and they're the things that you need to pick up before you can advance. There we go. Now the Warlock, he does have this little glide move as well. Now, the glide could possibly get a lot better, but at the moment it's very, very hard to aim while gliding. Um, that's what I found in specific. You can see these things dropping right here. We're just going to pick those up. Keep hunting. They're called Dead Ghost. And we've been given an order to basically keep hunting. So that's exactly what we're going to do, we're just going to kill the random packs until we find more of these dead ghost things. See the packs basically, um, the way you know where they're spawning as well, you can see on the minimap what happens is when you zoom out you have a red area like double dot red and directly in the center when it's flashing red means you're exactly close to somebody which as you can see there is proven correct and when you have like little lines like that for example on the left hand top corner you can see that's exactly where the packs are gonna be so it's basically like a little mini radar if you imagine it Right, now there's a lot of packs around here. Uh, 
Okay, he's dropped one. I'm trying to get this while going straight into the pack. Now, uh, you can see why that's not really a wise move because you do get damaged quite a lot, but you can also disappear very fast as well. So you basically just run away to regen your health. Now, what we got to do is we got to find the control station. And you can see that which is pointed on the minimap with a white arrow. So I've got to go this way. Alright, so it's self explanatory. Right? Follow the arrow. Like following the yellow bit road. Now you can see other players are actually in this map gameplay at the moment. There's a lot of people playing the better and a lot of the codes have been given out and stuff like that. Right, respawning restricted, so we're going to end up in another fight in a minute, which is how I know exactly that the packs are going to be here anyway. And we're just going to advance nice and slow. No need to rush. We're not in a rush. Vector all VI. So we just got some new boots, as you can see there. And I've just used that to actually back off. Just to make sure I didn't get challenged any more than I needed to be. As I come around here. Oh, we'll take him. Oh, there's another. And we'll take him too. And that's basically like a pyro punch. This is the glide that I was talking about. You can see it's very, very slow at the minute. Um, like I said, when you spend your points in the trees, it should get a lot better. Well, I expect it to get a lot better. I don't know. I've not played Destiny before, so I'm just bringing you everything that I've gone through on the gameplay so far. Um, we're going to be bringing you a lot more content, so this is just going to be series number one. And this is going to show you quite a bit, just to get you started guys, if you're brand new to the game like me, you can see exactly what I'm doing. And don't forget guys, don't forget to subscribe if you do like me content. Um, eventually I will be bringing you some PvP as well, but obviously I need to upgrade quite a lot more before I actually get in there because I tried it and I got annihilated probably because I've got very very low defense okay so we got another guardian up there Now the Vandals, they're basically throwing like little bolts, but when they're quite close, what they'll try and do is they'll try and hit you. Just like normal, like a normal pack would do. You can see the captain, I just threw a ball at him and he disappeared. Um, so he's got like a cloaking ability and what he does is he actually reappears. At the moment I'm thinking, screw this, I'm just going to go straight in for the kill. Straight in there, straight in there. Sometimes you can actually get past packs, I've just learnt that like so for example but you're gonna see my health go down big time you see me take out that big pack there that was a nice little kill cam but my health is very low at the minute so I'm just gonna go behind here and regen it and there you go I just get hit by the ball shooting him that's not actually even hitting him what say what There's the control. Right, so we're just going to take out the vandal normally. There you go. And you have these little things where you press X, keep hold of X, and it deploys like a little ghost thing, which is going to activate whatever the hell's going to happen next. Now, what I'm going to show you is some of the mistakes that you'll make as a new player as well. So I'm not just going to show you, for example, everything that wins and stuff like that. I'm going to show you mistakes that you can make. Like, for example, you see me start in here and start shooting them. And it's getting activated. You can see there's a lot of packs right at me. There's these little things called sharks which do shoot quite a lot of bolts at you. They're pretty easy to kill though, as you can see there. Right, so we're activated. Now at this point I actually didn't know what was going to happen. Oh, I'm being hit by some sort of purple bolts and what the hell are these things? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! 
But like I said guys, there's the mistake. So what I end up doing is I end up rethinking the class and seeing what I can do with her. You can see I just got 61 kills for one Outside, death and right. that was my death. It's opening. Okay, so this time I'm Amazing. gonna have a look at my gun. It's activating. Now this is exactly where you find your guns, your boots, your I'm armor, everything that you need. So I'm switching my guns to a faster pace gun. Now when I switch to this faster pace gun, I do not expect it to have so much recall, Alex. Literally untrue. You're gonna see that in a second. Okay. Alright, so look at the recoil on this gun, oh my god. Although, it is taking them out pretty nice and fast. Boom. Boom. Running a two pack there. You can see this thing firing straight at me. That is the thing that we need to take out. It's a wizard. Nope, not from the Wizard of Oz, guys. Okay, so we got a thing called Supercharge. Now, Supercharge on a Warlock, what that allows you to do is throw your grenade bolt, but it does extra damage, as you can see. Boom! Like that, for example. Finding it very hard to aim with this gun, but we're just going to try and take this wizard out as fast as we can. There you go, we took him out. And that brings us to the end of that mission, guys. Right, I believe we may have about one more mission to go. You can see two stories just joined me. So we're just going to take out these packs as well. Two stories basically a friend of mine. I'm trying to be smart and I'm trying to play it a bit like uh, <laughs> Titanfall to be honest. So I'm just trying to rush in there and just move but... You can't really move that well in this game, so um, it's completely different, and it was wrong of me to approach it that way. So me and 2 serve it, just going to use a bit of teamwork here, take out these random packs. Do -do 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 -do. And you can see the Warlock's punch is very good for when they do get close range to you. That completely missed. She's coming back into the inside. We've just got hit. Nice little glide to get away there, and you can see my health regening now, so I'm ready to get back into the action. We've got this little thing here. Now, I start learning how to use this gun a little bit better, and it's basically don't just simply spray and pray. You want to spray, stop, spray, stop, spray, stop. Exactly like you see me doing here. Do you see how the recoil sort of like limits itself? And it doesn't recoil as much as what we did last time. There you go. So I'm just going to run straight into him. Boom. I know I'm going to be hit, but he's on very low health. There you go. And we end up with the supercharge. And that to comes this. to the end of the gameplay, guys. So don't forget, if you do like me, comment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Every subscriber counts, guys. And I'll be bringing you lots more action from both Destiny and Titanfall. Peace out. The array. It's controlled.